My quartet is a string quartet from Amsterdam and of course the core repertoire for string quartet was written 250 years ago. We play that a lot, but we always try to search for ways to make the, the reason for playing it clear. So we play arrangements of music that was written before the first string quartets a lot. And we play contemporary music because living composers, they keep the, the fire going. And for this project, we've teamed up with Michaela and with Eric, who is a recorder player. This new project is about a painter, Artemisia Gentileschi. She is an Italian woman, um, daughter of a famous painter, and um, she studied with Tasso. The story goes that Tasso raped Artemisia, and uh, there are records of the trial. We took the story as a basis for the text to have two young composers write new pieces. But during the time in Aldero, we we're also searching for pieces that <laughs> sort of express the same things that she expressed in her paintings, which are really confronting. Her art is incredible. It often portrays very powerful women and the colours are uh, very vivid and also some of the scenes that she paints they can be quite violent, bloody there are lots of beheadings uh, in them you can't stay indifferent when you look at them you see this craftiness, you see this beauty of, of uh, yeah, what, she, what she paints but then you always have this subject that is so heavy and so bloody and so... Um, mm -hmm. that you really can see that there was I think there was a necessity for her to, to put that somewhere. As a composer, I find this really interesting to, to treat the art as a, as a tool for making the life more you know, valuable or meaningful. In general, it's just to survive, not to go mad. We're not trying to make a, a, an opera. Because obviously there is a story, um, an interesting one, to Artemis's life and especially that period of her life uh, during the trial. But we're still actually in the process of figuring how best to structure the concert so as to not necessarily have, here's a new 15 minute piece, here's you know, some old music, here's another new 15 minute piece, but maybe try and find a way to blend it all together and also blur the boundaries between them. The text contains all sorts of uh, you know, connotations and uh, the semantic weight <laughs> is huge and therefore it becomes like less, far less abstract when we add lyrics. But also then we can use the vocal as an instrument and then uh, we start to produce our own connotations out of that, what we hear. The recorder is associated very much with early music, but obviously Eric is someone who not only plays early music uh, super well, but he's very experienced in contemporary music. And so he can just add, add another dimension, add another voice and another colour as well. Also to me, really, it's the, the technical possibilities within the ensemble, because they're all very fine virtuosos and um, the, we can get them to do all sorts of things. And they're not scared of that which for a composer is gold. Naturally, it's a most valuable way of collaborating for a composer is to, is to collaborate with the live well, musicians that you trust and you know. So these kind of residencies are just fantastic opportunities to get to know people. And then you can suggest and try out things more deeply.
uh, the exact representation of what she did in the paintings, can we actually manage to do that in the music as well? Yeah. Can we come close to her artistry in a way? Yeah. You know? Is there a way to translate the effects yeah. she, was, she was searching for to music? Yeah, and through that also can we come close to her personality and come close to what she has been through? <laughs> 